share, comment, subscribe, like, or dislike to my channel, please. Share, comment, subscribe, like, or dislike to my channel, please. Don't forget to hit the bell, please, cause you will never know. When I come out with another video, share, comment, subscribe, like, or dislike to my channel, please. Share, comment, subscribe, like, or dislike to my channel, please. Don't forget to hit the bell because you will never know when I come out with another video. Don't forget to hit the bell because you will never know when I come out with another video. Share, share, come. Hello everyone. Today I'm here to do in a reaction video on an 18 year old young lady who decided to go have fun for her birthday and leaving her 20 month old baby at home alone for six days by herself and she ended up dying. That's sad to hear about the little baby. She had a whole future ahead of her. But let's get started. I really appreciate you joining me today and these stories are really important to highlight and they come from Birmingham and Brighton. Two mothers have been found guilty and sentenced for the deaths of their own daughters and I really want to find out if there is any answers in these stories to try to prevent this from happening again. I've already covered the story of Verfi Kudi, the Brighton mother who left her daughter alone in a house for six days while she went out partying. On the morning of the day her daughter was found dead, the mother of one had tried to sell concert tickets on Twitter. Baby Asaya was left alone at home as a DJ made an announcement of... That's a pretty little girl too. ...for the Tannoy to mark Verfi's birthday while she partied at a nightclub. Verdi went to a 1990s concert in Elephant and Castle, London, while her toddler starved to death over the course of six days. It was also revealed in court that the toddler had been left on her own at least 11 times before she'd been left for six days. She went to party in Coventry and Sully Hall and even London, 60 miles away from where her daughter was. Asaya was only 20 months old and she tragically died from flu and starvation after being left unattended in the flat for days on end, it was heard in court. When the paramedics arrived on December the 11th, 2019, Kudi had returned from partying. They said she was incoherent, distressed and distraught, and her daughter was lying on the floor of the home. Kudi was now 19 and appeared in the dock at Lewes Crown Court on Friday for sentencing after pleading guilty to manslaughter. She left Brighton on December the 5th and went to London, where she spent her birthday with her boyfriend. On December the 9th, she moved on to a birthday party in Coventry, 150 miles from Brighton, before returning to London the next day and then home to East Sussex on December the 11th. At 10 past 6 on December the 11th, ambulance staff arrived at a flat and Asaya was taken to the city hospital but was confirmed dead on arrival. And what was really disturbing as well was that the mother wasn't even arrested initially. She was allowed to carry on living her life. The I don't know what it's like being young and being a mother, but I know what it's like being young because I was young once before. And I can understand what she was going through and what she wanted to do. But she could have went about another way. She could have went and found somebody to watch her baby for her or something. The judge said that Asai was left alone for six days. And due to her age, she was unable to draw attention to her plight. They said Kudi was motionless as she was jailed for nine years and taken away by court staff. It was also revealed during the case, in the run-up to the death, she was trying to get a contract to become a model for Pretty Little Thing, and she was atting them online as well and hashtagging them, telling people that she'd just applied and asking for people to retweet it. Her sister even spoke out during the incident after, and we published that on our YouTube channel. And that element of the story is actually being used by various news stations around the world, crediting myself and the company. There's an allegation, and I'm not here to defend my sister, but <clears throat> she hasn't been found guilty, do you understand? And 
she if she done that she will get she will do the time and she will get the punishment for that do you understand um no nobody in my family knew about that headline remember my sister's 18 so if any investigation or anything's going on behind the scenes none no one in our family has to be informed do you get that because she's of age to the government like whatever happens between her and them no one in my family was informed no one knew anything that was going on behind the scenes like no one knew there was an investigation going on yeah <clears throat> up till now nobody knows the full story on how my niece passed away we was told she passed away a different way we was told her cause of death was something different no one knows no one no one knows how she actually passed away but obviously all will be revealed in it i pray my god reveals all i pray it all comes out in court and my niece gets the justice she deserves do you understand another thing i'd like to say is my sister had the support system she needed yeah my whole family was there for her all of us was there for her yeah my mum especially done everything she could to help that child yeah like to help so it seems that Verfi was more bothered about going out and meeting boys and partying than she was for her own daughter. And sadly, due to a lot of pressures that are on women, they do need help in some cases. And this is something that Verfi should have done. She should have turned to somebody that knew her and cared about her and asked for help. Never be ashamed to ask somebody for help if you need it. This is the biggest outrage that I've seen in relation to this story is definitely the sentencing. A lot of people have expressed how disgusted they are with the nine year sentence that she has received. And they say that this should be definitely increased. So she will serve approximately four and a half to five years. And I really want to hear what people have to say on whether they think that that is appropriate. And also what we'd need to do in order to try to get a judge to be able to increase that sentence. Boy, well, he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> Let me take that back. <laughs> and let me just make a disclaimer there's no issue with guys wearing makeup big up you MUA boys like some of you guys can do your makeup better than some of us girls but it was the fact that like he tried to lie about it and then tried to fight me because I confronted him about it well, I know a lot of people watching this have been waiting on the outcome from this situation because it's been quite literally months now because the sentencing date had been pushed back until August but we are here now and for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about we're talking about small ex youtuber Verfi Cootie getting sentenced for leaving her 20 month old baby to starve to death in a flat in Brighton while she was out partying on a bender for her 18th birthday in December of 2019 We've looked into this story a couple of times before, but today more details have emerged surrounding this case as it always does with the sentencing hearing. But for anyone who isn't familiar with this situation, on the 5th of December 2019, Verfi would leave her flat in Brighton and headed to London where she spent her birthday with her boyfriend. Two days later, having still not gone back home, she went to an event in Elephant and Castle where she had a DJ announce her birthday. On the 9th of December, she moved the bender over to a birthday party in Coventry before returning to London the next day, and then she went back home on the 11th of December. When she returned home, her young baby, Asaya, was believed to have been dying, lying on the floor, but Verfi took more than two hours, believe it or not, to call emergency services. Within those two hours, she could be seen emptying bags into a communal bin before going back to her flat. When she eventually called emergency services, she told them her baby wasn't waking up. At around 6.20 p.m., an ambulance crew arrived where they said Asaya was incoherent, distressed, and distraught. Verfi would go on to tell paramedics that she'd been sleeping all day, she'd given her milk and cowpole, then allowed her to sleep. 
Asaya would eventually be taken to hospital but was sadly pronounced dead on arrival. A post-mortem examination would conclude that the cause of death was starvation and influenza with reported signs of dehydration and severe nappy rash. In more details that have now emerged, it's believed that when Verfi had been first interviewed by police, she claimed that she had been with Asaya at the flat at all times except for one visit she made with her to London. But after discovering the CCTV footage and mobile phone footage of her out and about, the police had her banged to rights. It was also heard that after growing up in a decent family home, Verfi became withdrawn from the age of 14, beginning to bunk off school and not returning home. Social services decided to step in and she was assigned to a social worker and was moved to a placement at a safe house in Norfolk. But there were concerns that she had became involved in child sexual exploitation and had felt pregnant so she moved back to Brighton. She was moved in with foster carers and Asai was born on the 22nd of March 2018. They were immediately placed on a child protection plan, though there was no social worker assigned to her when she died. They would eventually go on to live with Verfi's mother, but three months before Asai's death in September of 2019, the two were moved by the council to a flat in a sheltered residential block for vulnerable families. The flats are independent units and staff do not enter the living areas or carry out regular inspections, but there are members of staff located in reception 24 hours a day. Ravi was said to have settled in well, but it's believed she began to abandon Asaya alone in the flat to meet up with friends and go out to parties. In the three months leading up to her death, there were at least six other occasions where she left her alone in the flat and once for two days. But after pleading guilty to manslaughter charges, Verfi Cudi was handed a nine year jail sentence. And so we now have more in depth details surrounding this situation and know before a lot of people were wanting to know what exactly was going on surrounding this case and hopefully now it is a bit more clear. But I did say this in my last video as well, that the main blame, of course, lies with Verfi, but we do have to be asking questions as to why no social worker was assigned to the pair when unfortunately Asai would go on to die, because at the end of the day, had a social worker been involved, we might not be in this situation. Again, I'm not taking the blame away from Verfi because it does fall on her, but we do have to ask why these support systems weren't around, which could have prevented this little baby from going on to die. But I do want to take this time out to send my condolences over to Asaya's family and friends. Such a young baby, only 20 months old, and has unfortunately died at the hands of her mother when she had her whole life ahead of her. Okay, this is okay. This is for all the young mothers out there that have babies at an early age. If you want to go out and party, just make sure you get somebody to watch your child. Try to get some help. Make that as an example. Don't leave your kids at home alone, no matter of time, no hours, no minutes, no seconds, no nothing. Because anything can happen. Any point second, anything can happen. Do not leave your kids at home alone. Especially at that young of an age. Because I'm quite sure somebody heard that baby crying. She'd been there six days. In the first two days, somebody should have heard that baby crying. Because babies cry. Especially at that age anyway. Especially, I'm quite sure the baby was hungry. So, she should have been crying. Somebody around there should have heard that baby. So, I don't know. People in the park, I don't know if she stayed in an apartment or a house or what. But, I'm quite sure somebody should have heard that baby crying. But, this is all I have for you today. Thank you. And I'll come back tomorrow with another one. Bye.